Maybe you just bought a Kia EV like the EV6 or EV9 or a plug-in hybrid like the Nero or the Sorento. Or maybe you've got an Ionic 5 which looks super cool or an Ionic 6 which definitely does not. And you got a level 1 charger when you purchased the car. You don't have a dedicated level 2 charger at home and you are thinking you can get by using the level 1 charger because you don't really drive that many miles and level 1 charging is maybe fast enough. You've looked online to see how long it might take to charge your car using level 1 charging and it doesn't seem that bad given how much you drive. So you plug into a 120 volt outlet in the garage and you plug that into your car and then you go into your car and you look at the estimated time remaining for the charge on the instrument cluster and it looks absolutely insane. Doing the math, it looks like you could probably charge your car faster if you built a bike power generator, had a couple Gatorades, and just really sweated it out for a night. Before you do all that, I've got good news. You might not need to go buy a level two charger and hire an electrician to rewire your house or build a bike power generator. You may actually be able to increase the speed of your level one charging with a simple trick that nobody told me about when I got my key a Nero plug-in hybrid a couple years ago. So let's look at the charger. Here you see the number six. This is how my charger came by default. This tells you how many amps the charger is delivering. This, by the way, is the slowest possible setting. All the charge times you see online for level one charging are done at 12 amps. So if you want to see faster level one charging, you need to be at 12 amps, not six amps. When I got this charger, it either didn't have instructions or I might have thrown them away without inspecting them thoroughly. Early. So if you're like me and you don't have the instructions handy, I'm going to show you what you need to do to increase the charging speed. This charger only has one button on it, so hold that button down until you see the numbers start flashing. Then you're going to release, then press the button, and you'll notice the number change. Keep pressing the button until the number changes to 12. Then you're going to press and hold the button down for a second, and then release it and the charger will set at 12 amps. Now the next time you plug in, you should see the estimated charge time remaining to be a whole lot less than whatever it was before. So I gotta get 86% filled at six amps and you can see on this plug-in hybrid that would take 15 hours at six amps, which is really, really, really slow. So if we can bump this up to 12 amps, what does it do? And now I've plugged it in at 12 amps and remaining time for 15% is going to be 6 hours and 50 minutes, which is way, way, way better than what we saw with 6 amps. Now you might be wondering why they even have this setting on level one chargers. The level one charger for our RAV4 Prime from Toyota doesn't have the option to adjust the amperage. There are no buttons. My best guess is that if you are plugging into a garage circuit that already has a high power draw, then you probably don't want to blow the circuit. In that case, you might want to just reduce the number of amps that that charger is drawing so that you don't blow the circuit or, I don't know, set your house on fire. In that scenario, this setting is pretty useful, but I think it would be really helpful to have an explanation somewhere on the charger itself. Otherwise, there's just this nebulous button that doesn't make much intuitive sense until you're on the internet like you are right now trying to understand why your Kia or Hyundai charges so dang slow. But what do you think about this setting? And how much time are you saving with your charging now that you have your charger set to 12 amps? Drop me a comment down below. Finally, I know there are some snobs out there who are wondering why would you even use level one charging? Obviously level two is better. The answer is you might not drive that many miles and you don't wanna pay an electrician to rewire your house. Or like in my case, you might be going to somebody else's house and you just wanna plug in and get a little juice for your car. At home, we have a level two charger, but when we go visit my son's grandma, we charge on level one. We just plug into a 120 volt outlet in the garage. With a plug-in hybrid, we don't need to charge a huge 77 kilowatt hour battery to full. 
We don't even need to charge if we don't want to because it's a plug-in hybrid and we can just run on gas. A big reason, by the way, to consider getting a plug-in hybrid if you're going to be doing a lot of road trips. But it is nice to get a little electricity into the plug-in hybrid overnight because it improves driving dynamics, noise, and also means there are no tailpipe emissions, at least for a period of time. All that said, there is actually a problem with level 1 charging that you may not know about. It adds a hidden cost that I didn't know about until I started researching for this video, and it should be factored into your decision about whether or not to buy a level two charger and have an electrician wire your house up for it. If you're interested in the hidden costs of level one charging for your electric car, I will drop a comment in the description box and I'll also link it right here when the video is ready. I hope this video makes your life with your electric vehicle a whole lot more enjoyable and your charge times a whole lot faster. If this helped you, hit the like button, subscribe, and until the next video, keep it simple.